So hey everyone and welcome back and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a Neptune type of transition in Premiere Pro. All you need is the Sapphire plugin but if you do have that then let's get started. First of all you want to have two clips ready, I've got mine right here with a basic scale on both clips alongside with some S shake added on and what we are going to do is create an adjustment layer so what you want to do is right click over here on the project tab and then head over to new item adjustment layer and then click on ok. You want to drag the adjustment layer in between the two clips, trim it down to one frame and just place it two frames before the cut so right there. Head over to the effects box and search for find edges, the one underneath style is right here. You want to drag and drop it onto the adjustment layer. Now it's going to look like this, you want to click on invert and then you want to search for the tint effect so it should be the one underneath color correction. Drag it onto the adjustment layer once again. It's going to change color but what you want to do is head over to map white 2 and you want to click this white box over here and then select a color of your choice. I'm going to select a reddish color so if I head all the way down uh, and then select my color so it'll be I think this one looks good. When I click OK it's going to change to red. Next up search for S underscore glow edges this one right here and drag it again. You want to change the glow brightness to around 0.5 and then the glow width to 15 and then you want to click on this color picker and you want to select the color that we used before so you can just like click anywhere where it's red so I'll click around here or you can just manually select the color so just head all the way down and then select it there you go and then you want to search for the wave warp effect underneath distort drag it on you want to change the wave type to smooth noise the wave height to I think it was 15 in fact no it was 60 you want to change the wave width to 15 not the height so it should go smooth noise 60 15 90 1 and then the pinning should be all edges this is completely optional but if you want to you can change up the angle so instead of 90 you can change it to 0 and it makes it horizontal instead of vertical. Now we are going to move on onto the next adjustment layer. So what you want to do is basically copy this adjustment layer onto the next frame. You need to hold alt on your keyboard. I think it's command if you're on Mac and just drag it right there and then just get rid of the find edges effect alongside with the tint and also the glow edges. But you want to keep the wave warp. Um, just change the direction to 90 instead of zero or the opposite way around. So if it was 90, change it to zero. Next up, search for an effect called threshold. Depending on your Premiere Pro version you may not have this effect but what you want to do is just drag it onto the adjustment layer and you want to click and hold to place it above the wave warp effect. Now this may be a little bit difficult but what you want to do is just click the number and just drag it to the left or the right to see what's best for you. So I'm just going to pull it a little bit to the left um, just about there and that's the second one done so we're going to move on onto the next frame just copy it and then get rid of everything except for the wave warp. However you want to change the direction back to zero, search for the invert effect the one underneath channel and just drag it on top of the wave warp effect and if you want to you can change the channel to something else such as blue or hls i'm going to keep it at rgb for now and for the final adjustment layer you just want to copy and paste the first one and we're not going to make any changes to it at all just leave it as it is and there you go you're pretty much almost done so far it should look something like this what you also want to do for the second clip so the one right here uh, ignore the effects you don't need to look at them uh, but all you want to do is just make a cut right there only for the first frame and what you want to do is just copy it all the way over here so just before the first adjustment layer and then you want to click in between the cut we just made to join them back together so click this over here join through edits i'm just going to unhide the adjustment layers once again for the copied frame what you want to do is set the opacity down to 50 so it looks like a fade type of look if you want to you can mess around with the blend modes change it to darker color or even linear dodge i'm going to keep it at darker color and if i do play it back it should look like this but anyway Anyways, that's all you need to do. Also, just to let you know, I've opened up a Patreon page for anyone that wants to support me. I can't monetize my videos currently as I don't have the right amount of watch time. So if you would like to support me and these tutorials, then feel free to donate. You don't have to, of course, but the link's in the description below and I greatly appreciate any donations at all. But anyways, thank you for watching. Have a great day and I will see you next time. So yeah, peace.